It is trying to get more minority communities vaccinated now for COVID-19, but so far the numbers are far below white residents and they're pretty startling. In the latest data from the Department of Public Health, the vaccination rate for those older than 16 is more than 5% for Hispanics, a little more than 3% for black people and 2.6% for Asians. White people are at 56%. The difference is even more staggering in people 75 and older, where the rate is around 2% in all three minority groups. And all of that begs the question, how can those minority vaccination rates be improved? To get some answers, we are talking with Dr. Cato Lorenzen, a surgeon and UConn professor. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Great, thank you very much. Thanks. So we were just looking at those numbers right there, and that is a great disparity, and it is in fact very alarming. What do you think is the importance of those in the black community getting vaccinated? Well, I, I think it's very, very important. And I've, I've been I've spoken out about the need for uh, vaccination in the black community and uh, and uh, starting from the time in which uh, we published the first paper on, on COVID-19 in the black community historically, uh, showing high rates of cases and high rates of deaths in the black community. So I think it's very, very important that uh, that the black community responds and, and, and gets vaccinated. There's a long and troubling history when it comes to minorities in the medical field. Do you believe that racism in the healthcare system is leading to some of the mistrust by these communities to get vaccinated? Well, first of all, when I when we talk about mistrust, I like to use another word. I, I, I call it justified mistrust. There is justified mistrust of the medical community by black people in America. And it's not because of the just the historical racism that we see, but we the racism that we see, see even in the present day. We call it different things. We call it conscious bias, unconscious bias, stereotyping, prejudice. But but it's it's here today, and uh, and because of that, we see uh, this level of uh, justified mistrust that's taking place, which um, I think does play a role, important role. If we especially if we look at some of the surveys, in terms of the numbers of people who. Um, are getting vaccinated and also plan to va get vaccinated. Let me just add, though, in Connecticut, we need to do a much, much better job in terms of having the vaccine, the vaccine available uh, for uh, black people, but also for everyone. Um, I have my staff try today to arrange getting a vaccine and you call the hotline. There's a long message and I'll get back to you within a week. A call, go to the website. The website is a little bit intimidating, especially if you're an older person right now over 75 having to go to the website to schedule an appointment can be very, very difficult. So we have to do many things here in Connecticut to make sure that the access is there um, for uh, black communities, but also for everyone. Well, I think you bring up a number of excellent points. We appreciate you being with us tonight. Dr. Cato Lorenzen, thank you so much. Thank you very much.